What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that rank ladder, and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a dope team for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Black Lances Galarian Moltres team alongside with Weakness Policy Metagross. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. Also, guys, if you want to catch more content from me, I'm streaming five plus days every single week over on Twitch. Link is down in the description below, Jeans25 on Twitch. Make sure you hit that follow button and turn on notifications and come hang out with me when I go live. But getting started with this team, we have Grimstarl in that top left corner. And you guys know I love this set on this Grimstarl. We got Prankster and Light Clay as his item and ability, Spirit Break and Sucker Punch for our stab moves, and we have Reflect and Light Screen. Just love setting up screens with this Pokemon, and I feel like I can control a lot with this guy. Next Pokemon, right next to him, we have Entei. Inner Focus Ability, Assault Vest as his item so we can soak up some special attacking shots. And then we have Sacred Fire for our stab move, Snarl for special attack drops, Stone Edge for coverage, and Extreme Speed for first turn priority. Middle left is going to be a big part of this team, and that is going to be Galarian Moltres. Berserk Ability, Black Glasses as his item, and then this awesome move set of Fiery Wrath, Air Slash, both for stab, Nasty Plot to set up, and Protect as our final move. Right next to him is another heavy attacker, and that is going to be Metagross. You guys know this is a top tier Pokemon and really strong all around. Clear body ability, weakness policy as his item, so once we get that proc, we're going to get this Pokemon rolling and pretty much dominate the battle. Iron Head for Stab, Zen Headbutt for Stab, Stop and Tantrum for a coverage move, and Protect as our final support move. Bottom left is a Pokemon we really don't use, so this one's going to be fun. We got Runarikas over here with the leftovers as his item, so we can actually get some HP at the end of every single turn. And Wandering Spirit as his ability. EQ for our stab move, Body Press for our defensive bulk, Iron Defense to get that defense bulk, and then Trick Room as our final move. Final Pokemon is going to be Top of Mini, another Pokemon that you can bring in on any team and it just works well. Misty Surge as its uh, ability, so we can set that terrain. Choice Specs as an item, but this Pokemon is also rocking Trick as a move, so I can actually give uh, Choice Spec to any Pokemon I feel like. So maybe we can use that to our advantage and get rocking out with that. This Pokemon also has three stab moves, which is Dazzling Gleam, Muddy Water, and Moon Blast. Guys, you want to try out this team for yourself? You guys already know the deal. The code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that rank double ladder, try to get some wins with the Scalarian Moltres and Weakness Policy Metagross team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. We're hopping into battle number one, and I am so ready for Series 10. We are now a couple days away from it, and I cannot wait to get after it. But guys, let me know for question of the day, considering it has to do with Series 10, what Legendary will you guys be using in Series 10? For me, I'm going to be using every single Legendary, because you guys already know I'm going to be recording a bunch of videos. But for the first couple ones I want to show off, I'm going to be doing Zacian, Kyogre, and Groudon for you guys. So if you have any other Pokemon that you want to see, definitely leave them in that comment section down below. But we're going up against a Lapras team, well, Comfy and Lapras team. Very strong team right here with Regilecki, uh, Dragapult, Urshfu, and Incineroar on it as well. Um, I want to set up some screens, maybe get after it that way. I could do that. Or I can hand over a choice spec. He goes to a physical attacker, but I don't see him doing that. I really don't see him doing that. I'm going to go in with, uh, I think Metagross and... I think Metagross and what's called could be really good. Metagross and Grimstone to get us started here. I am digging that. So we're going to rock out with them too. And then Pokemon in the back end is going to be Top of Finny because everybody loves loves themselves a nice little Top of Finny. And then final Pokemon. Actually, I could, instead of lead in Metagross, I could lead Entei. I'm, I am going to lead Entei. I'm going to lead Entei, and I'm going to bring Metagross and Top of Infinity in the back end. I just think that's the play. I think it's just the best play all around. So let's rock out with it and get after it. Considering Intimidate will not affect my Top of Infinity or my Metagross. Because Metagross is clear body, and Top of Infinity is special attacking. So I'm digging it all around. And plus, if they throw out a physical attacker, I can actually just give them a choice spec. Which is huge. It'll choice them into a move, and they won't get a boost from it. Which is just, it's just amazing all around. It's just amazing. And we take their item. So it's just, it's a win, win, win. You just get a bunch of uh, wins on top of that. But yeah, just ready for uh, Series 10. Very hyped for it. Just something to change with the meta and bring you guys some new content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. But yeah, I've been having a blast with Pokemon Unite. Hopefully you guys are enjoying those videos and enjoying the streams that we are also bringing to you guys as well. But he's going to go Incineroar and Regilecki, which uh, I'm totally fine with that. I'm totally cool with that. I can Snarl turn one. I think we're going to see a fake out, so I might protect. Hmm. What does Jeans want to do here? We're lagging hard here. Someone's lagging. There it is. There's the Intimidate. Intimidate finally comes out here. We get an attack drop. Inner focus is going to pop here. And I dig that. All right. Um, do I set up a light screen? I think light screen has to be set up. Turn one. So let's set up our screens and start rolling with that. And then I might just snarl or I can just straight up stone edge. I think I'm just going to snarl. I think your boy is just going to snarl. Get that special attack drop onto that Regilecki. And not really have to worry about it. 
But chances are we're going to see a fake out here. Yep, there's a lovely little fake out. And could you imagine if you went over on Entei with my inner focus? That would be great. Thunderbolt's also going to pop here, and you're going to go after Grimmsnarl. You do, which, you know, I'm totally fine with that all day. Snarl's going to be able to pop, and I'm going to be able to set up a light screen next turn. Gotta love it. Got to love it. Congratulations, you won't really be able to do too, too much. What do I set up a reflect? Now, I think, uh, actually, let me see his other Pokemon. Ah, uh, who do I think he has? I'm thinking he has Lapras. I'm not even going to lie. I'm thinking he has Lapras on this team, so I'm going to go here, and then I think I might just Stone Edge up. I could definitely drop a Stone Edge. Or I can just get rid of the Regilecki. But I think Stone Edge going after this is would be a little bit better. If it lands. He's going to end up withdrawing the Regilecki. And he's going to go out on into. He's going to throw out Ragathon. So we should have set up a Reflect. Reflect all day would have been huge. That screen gets popping. Hopefully we get another turnout against this. That could be big for us. Stone Edge pops. It connects. Give me the crit. It lands easier crits. That's some nice damage. Was that a crit? No crit. Dang, dude, I really want that crit. And Flare, what's going to pop through? And can we eat? Eat it up. Nope, we do not eat. So recoil damage is going to pop out here. And our late screen is really going to go to waste. Which kind of stinks. So another Stone Edge, if it connects, is going to be easy KO. But I can bring out whoever I want. Which I might just bring out this Finny. At this point. And not even Dynamax. Good. Could bring out Finny and not even Dynamax. We are choice. So I can actually use that choice to my advantage. Or I can just take off item easy. That's really my call. Or I could just Dynamax. This would be a solid Dynamax, considering he has Regilecki. Hmm. What do I think he's going to do? He could Phantom Force, though. He could Phantom Force, which I wouldn't like one bit. So do I think he's going to Phantom Force? There is a potential for Phantom Force. But I think we should be fine by just dropping a Moon Blast into this thing. And just Stone Engine. Right? I think that's fine with it in case he Phantom Forces, so I really don't want to waste a Dynamax turn. Let's see how this one plays out. We're going to end up using the Choice Spec to our advantage and trying to get some big damage. So there's the Phantom Force. Good thing I did not Dynamax. And Stone Edge should be able to outspeed and we should be able to pick up KO here, right? Yep. Beautiful. Okay, so I really do dig that turn. So Retrolecki is probably going to come back out here. And we do have a Light Screen set up, so I'm digging that. I'm digging the screens that are full of Light. And one Moon Blast should be able to take out. Ooh, but he might Dynamax. He might end up Dynamax. I think I think Regilecki, we're gonna see a Dynamax from Regilecki. So I'm gonna snarl and Moonblast. That's my play. Yep, Regilecki's back out and about. Hopefully, just hopefully that Light Screen can help us out a little bit. What do I end up Dynamax here? Just so we can be able to eat. Is that the play? Do I think Tapu Finny can eat? Or I can guard. What do I really want to do here? What do I really want to do here? It's so tough. It's really tough. Because I could guard. You know he's fan of He's probably doubling up into me. I'm going to guard. I'm going to guard. I'm going to use my Dynamax here. I'm going to end up guarding. And I'm just going to snarl. I'm just going to end up snarling. Start getting special attack drops on that red selection. Who I think he's Dynamaxing, right? Yep. Good call by Jeans. I think he's doubling up into me. He's got to be, right? You have to be doubling up into my... Into my Tapu slot. This could be a very, very good max card. Considering if we can get off a Snarl here, we have the Light Screen up already, and we get a special attack drop. That could be huge for us. That could be huge for us. So I think we did make the right call in the end here. Because just saying, say I would have Dynamax went for a Starfall, there's still a huge chance that this thing takes out. It hits like a truck. And I think he takes me out regardless. Like, say, if I didn't Dynamax, even through the light screen, I think he just takes me out easily. So, I'd rather get this special attack drop off on him. And that should help us out tremendously. Let's see how this one plays out. There's a lovely little guard. A nice big old guard. Lightning's going to come through. Get it out of my face. Hopefully, the Phantom Force comes through here, too. If it comes through to my Entei, that's totally fine. I think she'll be able to eat up just fine. I should be thriving with that. Here's my lovely little Snarl. Get off some nice damage. Hopefully that thing's not policy. Get a crit on somebody too. Get a crit. But more importantly, special track attack drop is out and about. And of course he's policy, man. Of course this thing is policy. Okay. Um, might as well go for another snarl. He might go for another phantom force. I'm gonna go for a snarl, and I think I might just starfall onto the Regilecki. Would that be the play? 
What about Geyser? Hmm. I just want a Geyser here. Actually, it might be a little bit better because we do get we do get a little bit more out of it. We get some rain, so our next one can do more damage. So we're gonna go there and cut extreme speed. Actually, I don't think he's coming after me. I'm just gonna snarl again. Go for this lovely snarl. So let's see. Is he just gonna take out my? Just gonna double up in the finny. Let's see this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Just what we wanted. Just what we wanted. No damage whatsoever. Well, really no damage. We have the light screen and we have that attack drop, which is huge for us. And Phantom Force does end up popping. So we're making some nice little plays here. Making some nice little plays. Going in with the Snarl and the uh, Geyser here. Snarl's going to pop. I really don't have to worry about this Regilecki anymore. Because we have that down there. We have it down real low. So then I can just Starfall on over onto the uh, Dragapult next turn. And I think uh, my Ante should be able to finish off this uh, Regilecki. Or Tapu Fini just does it herself. Beautiful, yo. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We get a crit. We get a crit. But we play that one so well. Going in with the right call with the max guard with Tapu Fini. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I feel like every like every time I record a video for you guys, I just get a little bit better. And I'm making smarter plays and thinking about plays a little bit more. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the content and enjoying me win some battles. Because I've been winning more battles than recently. But let's see what this guy does. Let's see his final Pokemon. It's probably something we can dump on. We still have Metagross in the back end, which is huge. And he's going to end up throwing out... Comfy. A little Comfy here. Might see an ally switch pop through. But I'm still going to end up doing this. And... What do I do? Stone Edge? Stone Edge might be our best priority here. Let's go Stone Edge on somebody. I guess we'll double up into this slot. I guess we'll do a do little double up. I think maybe an ally switch might come through. Yep. A little ally switch happening. Which I'm fine with. I'm totally cool with it. Run this Phantom Force comes through. He's dead because of the policy proc. But yeah, it's totally fine. It is totally fine. Because now we have Metagross and Top of Finny out here. And can we take this thing out with a Starfall? That'd be kind of close. Let's see. No. We do not. We do not. Alright. So we have to Gleam here with my Tapu. Tapu definitely has to gleam here. Oh, we cannot. We're choice to a moon blast, aren't we? Right? I think we're choice to a moon blast. So we have to, we have to go for moon blast. So moon blast only. Moon blast, moon blast only. And the best part is my Metagross can take out a Comfy in one shot. So do we think he's going to ally switch? Or do I just throw my Metagross shot at the Comfy? Hmm. I think either way we can take out this Comfy, right? I can see him fanning for us. So I'm just gonna go for a moon blast. I'm gonna go for a moon blast here. I might just double up into one slot. No, I cannot. I think go separate just in case he does go for the fanning force. We're gonna go with that play and see what he does from there. I think we're gonna see another fanning force pop through. Which is a little scary. I'm not even gonna lie. A little healing's gonna come across. And that's a fine turn by me. That's a fine turn by me. Because I think this, uh,. Yeah, okay, I'm totally cool with that turn. But I think this Iron Head should be able to take out Comfy, and then we can just double in up onto this, uh, this Dragon Bolt. So Iron Head comes through. Is that KO? It does indeed. Beautiful. Get this thing out my game. Get him out my face. Not dealing with him. Now it comes down to a 2v1. We cannot protect this Phantom Force history. Protect. We're just going to go in with our best stat moves up against this Pokemon. So Moon Blast. Again, if Tapu, if Tapu Finney survives, it's game. It'll, it'll one shot this thing, no problem with the choice spec. Uh, then we can go either into a Zen headbutt or. Ooh. No, no, we have to go in with this. We have to go in with the Iron Man. They can both flinch and. They're basically the same thing, just one slower accuracy. So, we would rather go with the one with higher accuracy and get after that way. Let's see who he's fanning for. It's gotta be my Finny, right? It is gonna be my Finny. Can you eat? You do not. You do not eat! Alright. Comes down to the wire here. Comes down to the wire. Iron Head's popping. Get after him. Get after him. One more Iron Head will do him dirty. Will get us to win. He just can't one tap us. I know he has weakness policy, which is kind of scaring me. I'm thinking we got this. I'm thinking we got this. That's it. Make it happen. Phantom Force is scaring me. Is he, gonna, is he choice of Phantom Force? He's going for it. I can't protect. We got. We got to eat. We got to soak this one up. We got to soak it up. Which I don't know if we are, man. I don't know if we are. 
I do not know if we are. He's policy proc. Late screen's going. I wish we did have a fucked up. Iron Head's popping. Let's see it. No way he clutches up a Dragon Ball. Get this thing out of here. Eat it up. Yo, eat it up, Ed Gross. I always think for the best. You're just fan of force? Yep. Knew we were dead. I knew we were dead. I was just saying that for... Okay. Did he lag out? <laughs> My question, did we get the win? I don't know, but technically we got the loss. That Dragon Ball came in here, clutched things up for them, and won them the first battle. It's actually kind of funny. We ended up getting the win in battle number one. He lagged out right at the end when he actually won the battle, and we won it on a record. But technically we lost it. It's all good. We're hopping into our second battle here, looking for technically our first win for today's video. We're going up against... Ooh, little bit of an Elder Goss team with uh, Dragapult, Toxicroak, Incineroar, Tapu Fini, and Carton. And Carton. Okay. Um, machines want to do. I kind of want to set up some screens. Get some screens popping. That could be nice. Hmm. We have screens and maybe Metagross. I could go Ante. Ante? Ante's not bad. It's not bad. He does have a lot of snarls. Oh, uh, can roll out with that. What do I want to do? What does machines want to do here? I'm going to go Moltres with, uh, with you. I'm digging that. Let's go Moltres with Screens Guy, and then we'll rock out with Tapu Fini in the back. Will, will Tapu Fini be good? Yeah, I like Tapu Fini. And then final Pokemon is going to be Metagross. Let's stack up here. Let's try to get ourselves a win here in battle number two and get rocking out for today's video. But yeah, it was so funny because once he hit me at the end and took out my Metagross, it just popped up as a lag thing. I was like, what? I was like, did I lag out at the end? But went back to the thing. My bar, or not my bar, my rank went up a little bit in Master Ball tier. And, uh... Got the win and went to my record. It just gave us a win. Which stinks for him. I feel bad. I feel bad because imagine imagine if that was my end where it was just like, yo, I'm whooping and I got myself some win. I played really well and I didn't get the win on my record. Personally, like, I wouldn't care. I don't care about my record at all. I just kind of play to have some fun and make some videos for you guys. But, like, a lot of people do care about their record. So, like, that stinks. If it was like Pokemon Unite, I'd be upset because I care about my, uh, my wins in there because I'm hopping on that rank and trying to get him really high. He's going to end up going Top of Finny and Kartana. Which I'm, I'm cool with. I'm cool with that. Let's have the steel moves. Let's have steel moves. I should set up a reflect here. A lovely little reflect. And maybe try to get after him. I could set up a plot. I could plot up. Good if I want to. Or I can just fiery wrath. I might just dynamax get after this guy. Let me my play. Let's dynamax and set up a nice little reflect. Hopefully we can be able to eat up his uh, smart strike that's going to be coming in hot. Unless he dynamaxes. Let's see this dude's play. We're going to Dynamax early on here. Let's get after it. He's going to Dynamax as well. So I think it's going to be that Kartana, and I think he's going to go for a Steel Spike. He's looking to Beast Boost up. We'll be looking to get after him just as well. Right? It's Kartana. Yeah, because he has to beat Moltres. And I know the top of Finny does not. So there's that. Reflect is going to be able to pop out here. I don't... Mm, I do... I, I'm fine with the Dynamax, actually. I was going to say. Now I don't really like my Dynamax with my Moltres, but... Say he hits my Moltres. Berserk could pop, and we can get off a strong KO here. So the turn should go Artana, Moltres, uh, maybe Grimstone. Well, Grimstone has first turn priority with mostly everything. So I'm not even going to count him. It should go Cartana, Moltres, then Tapu Fini out of those three. Let's see his play. We set up a nice, lovely little reflect. Going to neglect some of his physical attack damage coming through. Hopefully, his Grimstone can eat up a steel spike because I, I think it's coming through. And now we're just going to go for a max strike, which I'm totally cool with. Max Strike comes through here, and that's easy needs for the boys, but he is going to slow us down as well. He wants that speed drop, which he kind of already had. He kind of already had speed on us, so I'm fine with that one. Calm my... Ooh. Ooh. Don't like that one bit. Uh, now do I set up a light screen, or do I just start special attack dropping him? Well, I could actually get after him. The special defense is raising, and we're going to drop it here. So there's this. Nice, lovely damage there. Big old damage. Gotta love it. Yeah, I love it. We got a crit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's a nice little special defense drop on him. And special defense drop on you. Okay. So, potential guard coming out here from him. Do I airstream? I'm going to airstream get my speed back. I could just start spear breaking on you. Because combine is a plus two. No, I think it's plus one. Let's see. Let's see this thing. It's just plus one. So, I'm fine with just uh, spear breaking this thing. And getting after it that way. And then taking speed with an airstream. We're getting our speed back. So there goes his airstream. He's going to go after my bird. And he can't do much. He can't do much. He can't do much. So he's going to go for speed. Now, is he calm mining again? That's the real question. That's the real question. Another calm mine is going to come out here. So let's, let's, let's try to get after this thing. 
Let's try to get after this thing. He's just gonna keep calm mining. We're gonna drop a special attack back to one. Now he's one on one, so he can calm mine at once. Airstream comes through. We need a little bit of speed back from us, and we're gonna be able to take out Kartana. We get rid of Kartana. I'm a little worried about this uh this little booger over here. This little top of Finny. Cause I think I have to use my last item actually more. I think it's a must. I think it's a must. So our speed is back to normal. She is plus one on speed. Great break comes through. And we're going to drop it special attack. We're going to drop it. The light screen can't pop out. This thing is left over. So he's trying to just bulk up. He is trying to just bulk up. Okay. Light is going to be targeted down this top of here. And probably set up a light screen. Well, not a light screen. A, uh... Yeah, a light screen. Because we set up a reflect last turn. Let's say we set that up. Or I could sucker punch. Or I could sucker punch. But I really do think this thing is going to dip out, so I might just airstream. And set up this light stream. Yeah, I'm with it. He's just with it. I can see a Phantom Force coming in here. And we're just going to do a hard swap. Ooh, I'm with it. Try, he's, trying to, he's trying to drag me. He's trying to drag me into the Toxic Croak. Get him out of here. I'm not doing that. I'm not dealing with it. Attack comes through. Okay, that's cool. So we get off a free light stream. We get off an airstream here, so our speed is going to be pretty much tied with them. Which is lovely. We'll tie with the Finny, and then we should be able to outspeed most of the other things. Here goes an airstream. Lovely. And now I can just start spirit breaking onto that top of And just dropping it and dropping it and dropping it and dropping it. So, not bad. Not bad first turns. Playing a little slow. He's trying to get this top of the setup, but we're, we're not allowing him. We're not allowing him. We got screen set up for mostly or most of the battle now because it's eight turns. And let's just get a special attack out of the way. I could double down into it. I'm gonna air slash you, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna air slash and I'm just gonna spear break. You wanna calm mine again? You can calm mine again. That's your call, buddy boy. That's your call, buddy boy. Moltres should be the fastest on the field now, which is just dandy. And I could see Toxicroak sashed up, though. I could see him sashing. He's definitely a, a Pokemon that, that, that could be rocking sash. So that goes fake out, you buttery biscuit. He fakes out on me. You're gonna call him out again. He's just gonna go straight for a draining kiss. And can we eat? That'll be a huge eat. We do eat. We do eat. And that thing outspeeds me. Okay, that thing outspeeds me. That's tough. So we can just go for another draining kiss. That's tough news. Spear break's gonna be able to fly through. Hey, dude, I didn't think that thing would outspeed me. I did not think that thing could outspeed me. Does he minus one us? Or did he do it twice? No, we only minus one. Let me see this. Because we were faster than that thing originally, right? Or we maybe we weren't. Speed plus one. We should be speed plus one, right? I guess we weren't. We we're not. So now I'm just gonna protect and I am just going to drop a the spear break. Another lovely spear break. That comes through. And let's see what Toxic Group does. Benny Kiss is gonna try to come after me again, and we're gonna block it. And Grip Snarl can eat up whatever Toxic Crook wants to do to me. Probably not. That comes out going to laser. Nope. We eat. We eat beautifully. I dig that. Big Break's gonna be able to come through here again, and we're gonna get another special attack jump. So that's big for us. That's just dandy. That's just dandy. Now I'm gonna go for a Sucker Punch because I know it's just gonna be our last turn. And I might be able to take off Sash. I might be able to take off Sash. So we know his final Pokemon is Dragon Pole, and we have the Finny in the back, so that's huge. That's huge for us. So let's go for first Air Slash over on you, and we might as well just go for a Sucker Punch over on you. We're gonna double down into you. We're gonna double down into this boy. Sucker Punch flies through. But I know he's gonna pick up the double kill easily here. Right? Oh, we do outspeed. Right, that's weird. I, why why do I think we didn't? Hey, I'll take that all day. I will take that all day. Now he's draining kisses. He's gonna get his, some HP back, and he's gonna be able to take out my Mojo. Actually, he might not. We're, we're special attack on him. He does not, yo. That is, that is huge. That is huge. That's huge. Okay. So now we can actually pose a decent threat to both these guys. But he's gonna have to throw out this uh, Dragon Pole. He has to throw out this Dragon Pole, and I'm gonna sucker punch onto it because Dragon Pole's the only one that's outspeed my Moltres. I'm gonna throw a sucker punch on that thing in case he's hitting, and that could hit it decently hard. And we can just go from there. So I'll air slash over onto you. 
and I will just sucker punch over onto you. Get it. Let's get it. Give me this sucker punch. This dude's a little scared. He's a little scared. He's a little scared. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. This little protect by me. Grimstarl is actually clutching up with the screens and the spear break. Spear break is huge for that special attack job. I'm loving it. I'm loving it, baby. And we did waste out his, his Dynamax turn, which was which was probably the biggest part of this map. Just wasted out on that Karchatana slot. He's gonna end up protecting the Colt. Just smart. We still get an air slash at all, which I love. And I can suck a punch next turn, which is huge. Air slash comes through. Can we get a flinch? A flinch would make my day. Or KO would have did it. You know, nice big old crit. I love it. And Draining Kiss is finally gonna come out here and pick up that KO. Okay. So I can sucker punch, but I feel like that top is going to protect. So I'm actually just gonna bring out my top and just gleam. Right? Choices to a gleam? Like just to double down. And I don't have to worry about any protects or any uh Phantom Forces coming out here. I think that's just our smart play. I think that is just our smart play. Let's get it. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. But yo, series 10's coming out soon. I cannot wait for it. I'm gonna be doing live streams on it. So if you guys want to catch some awesome teams and awesome uh ranked battle uh live videos, it's my Twitch. It's my Twitch. Because I've been having a blast with it. We had a decent amount of viewers on our last stream, and it's a lot of fun just hanging out with you guys. It's just fun all around. Let's rock that. Let's go sucker punch and gleam. Just in case this thing goes for Phantom Force, we can get off the Sucker Punch. And then a Gleam is going to hit both no matter what. Sucker Punch flies through. Boop! Doing some nice damage. Brings him down to like mid yellow, and Shadow Ball is going to fly through here. Pick up KO on you, and I think we pick up the double kill. I think this game is over. I think this match is over. He shows his orb. And Drain Kiss is going to fly through here. And how much damage are you really going to do? Get it out of here. Get him out of here. Your two calm minds were not enough for me. Not enough to outplay jeans, baby. As the lean comes through here, and definitely one KO, maybe we'll get on the Finny. We do not. We do not. Just draining Kiss HP. Stacked it up. That's going to be GG. This guy's going to cancel. This guy's going to cancel, and your boy jeans going to catch a win for you guys. Big ol' win. Big ol' win. Look at that. Reflect finally wears off. We don't need it anymore. That's how... Dude, that's how much I love the light clay. Dude, it lasts so long. Just so good all around. Uh, let's just spear break. Actually, I should, I should suck a punch. I should honestly just suck a punch. Probably gonna protect. Nope, suck a punch flies through. Can we KO with that? We do not. Can Gleam get the KO? Dragon Kiss can come through again. And we should be able to KO with this one. Because he's not gonna get a lot of HP back considering only did 17 damage. We should be able to do enough here. Because he is still in that red. And can Gleam finish it off? Do, or do we have to bring out Big Boy Metagross? We have to bring out Big Boy Metagross. Gleam comes through. And there it is. There it is. Grab ourselves a win in battle number two. We're sitting at one and one. So we can hop into our third and look for that winning record. So your boy wants that winning record for you guys. But we have a problem. This guy has one of the top meta teams right now. Look at that. Double horse with Glacier and Spectre. He has the Trick Room with the Porygon 2. Regilecki, Urshfu, and Incineroar. This guy came to play. He, he's only looking for wins. And he's probably been using his team the whole season. Like, that, that's just how this team goes. Hopefully, we can grab ourselves a win and grab ourselves that winning record for you guys and counter this meta. That will be awesome, but I'm trying to think of who should I go into. He, he could lead that Porygon, or he could lead the Regilecki, which they're both decently scary. Don't like I might want to go into you instead of screens, or I might just want to get after and go hard. Maybe take out Evo Light. I could swap Evo Light and potentially pick up a KO. Let me play. I might go for that. But then if he leads Regilecki, I can totally see Regilecki coming out here. Hmm. We got Rune Regis. Go here. Go this. Go Moltres and... Go Entei. Let's go Entei. Let's go Entei here. Let's try to rock it. This one's tough, dude. I just have a feeling this guy's just gonna set something up, get air for me, it's just gonna be game over. Because it's so hard playing up against these teams when you're not using, uh, like, these teams. Like, Glacier and Spectre are so hard to counter, in my opinion. Unless you're using Glacier or Spectre or a Pokemon that can just absolutely dump on it, no problem. But let's see. He goes to Incineroar and Porygon too, so he's ready to fake out. Ready to rock fake out. And I wonder who he is going to fake out. Wait a minute. Hopefully he fakes out the Metagross. 
Because if he fakes out this Metagross and we can trick him into Choice Specking onto that Trick Room, I can, that could be something good. That could be something real good. But that's going to be my play. I'm just going to end up uh, using a Trick here. Taking this Evo Light so we don't have to worry about him later. He's not so bulky at all times. So let's send this Trick. And I could Dynamax, but I just want to go into an Iron Head and look for this punch. Let's see his play. We gotta fake out. What are you doing it with? Dang it. Hopefully we get the flinch. We need a flinch on this iron end. We need a flinch on this iron end. Do him dirty. Do him dirty. Show it to me. Dang it, dude. Dang it. <laughs> so he gets off that trick room. Uh, I still am going to trick him up. And I'm just gonna drop a nice, lovely little stomping cantrum over onto it instant war. That's play. Let's see if he swaps now. Let's see what, let's see what he does. We could Dynamax before we got to. You see that very rarely, but it works. But I'm actually hoping Dynamax is Porygon too, because we take off his Evo Light. And the Evo Light is what keeps this Pokemon really afloat. Because what they get, they get a 50% defense and special defense boost. It's just enormous. It is enormous. That's why Pokemon like him and Dusk Ops are really, really strong. We're gonna go straight for a try attack. And we just gave him we just gave him a choice spec, but um, we'll stop with Tantrum. Nope. And get off some decent damage. I love it. Barn Shots can come through here. And you're going to go away from my Tapu Fini. So I can swap my Tapu Fini if I want to. But we already know who he's going after. Or what he's doing. He's going to throw in Glacier. He's going to Dynamax Glacier. He's going to go for a Max Quake with Glacier. Like it's nothing new. It is nothing new. It's insane that this stuff still is a thing. If it comes through, we're gonna say, hey yo, can I can I have that Evo light? Thank you very much. You can have the choice specs. Pick your Evo light. Alright, um. Hmm. What do I do from here? Do I just take your item? I'm just gonna get the chilling nade boosted all day. Just protect. I'm gonna take his item and protect. We're gonna give him the Evo light and just say, hey, can I have your item real quick? Let's see how that goes. Because right now we're kind of just trying to waste our trick room because I feel like that's the only way we win is our Pokemon in the back end. Coming in after the trick room. We're going to protect. We're going to... I'm saying he's going for a quick into my, uh, my Metagross all day. He's going to get special defense. Hmm. What does Jeans do from here? What does Jeans do? He's in a sticky situation here. Real sticky situation. You guys know it. Let's see how this one plays out. And there's Quake. No, I said I said exactly what was gonna happen like ten turns ago. I probably should have swapped into my. Oh, I can swap to my Moltres now. Hmm, Jeans can swap to his Moltres now. So there's my policy proc. Oh, well, or I could Dynamax. What does Jeans want to do here? Try attack's gonna come through here. Try attack is gonna come through here. We're gonna be able to eat. We're gonna be able to trick on this thing and say, hey, yo, now you give me your item. So we got the Evo Light and we get his Assault Max. Alright, real question is Much as I want to go for like a Quake or something, I just don't think it's to play. Or not, I, I, as much as I want a Dynamax, I just don't think it's to play. I think swapping into Bird is gonna be play. Even though Steel Spike could be big. Mm, I hate this. I hate this. He does have a special defense boost, so I, I think we got Dynamax. I think we're going to Dynamax here. I'm going to Dynamax his Metagross and get after it. We might be rocking Alex, which, which could be tough. But we get a defense boost as well, which is huge. We're playing decently well. I was thinking of swapping the bird. So let's see if this one pays off. Let's see if this one pays off. I think we can eat up a quick. I think that we can eat up a quick. He's not boosted or anything. And it's not stab, so he's gonna go for the quake. We can eat this, then we can guard next turn and we just have the strip for me. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, so we eat up all day. He's getting some nice, lovely special defense boost. But we gotta get rid of these Pokemon. We are gonna end up getting a defense boost, which is huge, which makes me think we can eat up another quake. Guys, action come through here and chill on me, man. Chill on me, you butter biscuit. Chill on me, dog. So I'm thinking of quaking. Oh, we're not quaking. Uh, protecting next turn. And garden. We're just dumping on Glacier like that. Get him out of here! Get him going, baby! 
A good call by me. I think both of them would have been a solid call. Let's say we swapped and just made that read. Like, we knew he was going in that quake. We could have dodged it easily with the bird, but then we wouldn't have had weakness policy. And not having weakness policy would have been tough for us. There goes Moonblast. And I think we have one more turn left in our Dynamax, right? Or not, not one more turn in our Dynamax. I know we have one more turn left in our Dynamax. Or no, we have two more turns left in our Dynamax. But I think we have one more turn left in Trick Room, which could benefit us. Which could definitely benefit us. I'm just gonna go for a moon blast here. And I think probably rocket sucker punch, right? We might protect, so. Hmm, what do I do from here? Let's stop first turn priorities like sucker punch and all that. Might be the which might be a better option for me than the defense boost. I actually cannot do that. Let's go for a defense boost. And I'm gonna take out this Porygon. Because I can see Earth food protecting or detecting or something like that. Maybe goes for sucker punch. Let me eat. We do eat. Lovely little defense boost helping us out here. Wow, but try attack does come through here. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Moonblast is going to be able to fly through and uh, do some big old damage with this. Uh, onto this uh, Urshu. This should actually probably pick up KO. We're bringing down a Sash. This is going to be four times super effective. And Mount, get him out of here. Get him out of here, yo. That's GG's. That is G to the G's. G to the G's. Actually, he still has Incineroar. So I just bring out, uh, I bring out Bird. Actually, he can't be faked out here, so I'm gonna bring out you, and just waste, waste out that fake out. So, yo, I'm liking where we're sitting. Your boy is digging where we're sitting, so I can just protect the Finny, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna protect the Tapu Finny, so it doesn't get flinched and get tri attacked on for the KO, and just roll off from there because we're in a focus and they cannot be flinched. I love it. Oh, we do not have protect on him. Muddy water it is. Muddy water it is into a stone edge. Into a stone edge. Hopefully this one connects and we can uh, pick up KO. Just fake out. Built. Get the flinch and then try attack is probably gonna fly over here. Stone edge does connect, which is wonderful. Give me the crit. We do not get the crit, but we bring it down the red. His berry's gonna come out of here. We get rid of the berry. We get rid of the lovely berry. And we still have our bird in the back, who's one of He's gonna be the strongest Pokemon out here. All right, attack flies through. That's easy eats for you. AC snack. Jeez, he gets a crit. Of course he gets a crit. Would never guessed it. Uh, Muddy Water's gonna fly. And I'm just gonna Stone Edge over onto. Actually, do I double down? Extreme speed. I'm gonna double down into the Sinor. Sinor can't protect. So we're gonna go with that way. Gonna rock a Stone Edge. Ends up connecting. Lovely. The reason I did double down was just in case Stone Edge missed. So there's that KO. Muddy Water's gonna fly. We win some damage. This thing's special defense boosted, which kind of annoyed me. Try attacks. Shouldn't be able to pick up a KO. Unless he gets another crit. Lovely. Lovely. And I can just stop or start dropping Secret Fires. And uh, the move would be better for me. Moonblast, go for special attack drop. Try to lower accuracy. Let's go for a Moonblast. That's a better chance of hitting. Let's start dropping some secret fires. How to get a burn on this thing? This is this thing is just going for the uh, the stall out here. Do that and nice big old damage. Big old damage. Can Moonblast get it? I don't think Moonblast has the Moxie or enough oomph to get get rid of this Porygon. So close. Try attack comes through, but that's gonna be GG's. We have to beat him all day. We outspeed him all day. Get him out of here. We're going to grab ourselves that wonderful winning record for you guys. Uh, up against a really strong team. We played this one super well. Once he got that trick room off, I was, I was, I was a little... I was a little... Uh, well, a little down thinking we were going to lose this match. I was like, dude, I think this one's over. But came out of it. Played this one super well. Ended up Dynamaxing that Metagross. Actually protecting him first and getting that policy proc. And then Dynamax Metagross. One shot in the Glacier and rolling out from there. Battle was canceled. GG winning record for you guys. Yes, sir. Was able to dominate in today's video. Go 2-1 and one and grab ourselves that winning record. And our only loss came down to the wire. It was legit a Dragon Pole clutching up and getting a win in the late game. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos could live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.